What's up guys? Today we got a really neat video. It's a brand new product and it happens to be one of my very favorite topics and that's ratchets. Today we're going to be looking at the new gear inch 90 tooth locking flex head. Comfort grip and standard grip. So you guys come take a look at this one. Like I said in the intro, one of my favorite topics is ratchets. For you, those of you that's been watching my channel for some time, know that I'm quite a ratchet addict. I love a quality ratchet, and a locking flex head just happens to fit that bill perfectly. I believe a locking flex head is the best ratchet on the market because it does the work of a standard flex head as well as a non-locking flex head, and you can lock it in different positions when you're in tight spots. Well, Gear Wrench has answered that call when they come out with a 90 tooth locking flex head ratchet. As you see, this is a three piece set. It comes with a quarter, three eighths, and half inch. This is, of course, the non comfort grip version. Here is the comfort grip version, same thing, quarter, three eighths, and half. Now, Gear Wrench was kind enough to send me these ratchets and um, let me do a test on them and give my opinions and my thoughts on their ratchets. I have used exclusively these ratchets for the last week here in the shop. Um, I will say this, going into this video, the 90 tooth is a far superior ratchet in my opinion than the 120 XP's. It's just got a stronger feel to the ratchet. Um, when you're putting a good bit of torque on something like the half inch, you can feel there's a little bit of movement kind of in the paws when it's a really tight bolt and the 90 tooth has alleviated that problem. I feel like the 90 tooth, in my opinion, is a superior ratchet to the 120. You do lose one degree of arc swing between the 120s versus the 90 tooth. The 90 tooth has a four degree arc swing where the 120s have a three. Another feature that I've become quite fond of on these ratchets is you can change the lock position from either side of the ratchet. It's on the bottom side as well as the top side. Like I say, I've used exclusively this comfort grip set the entire week so I could give a fair assessment in this video. And I believe for the money, the 90 tooth locking flex head is an excellent alternative to a tool truck ratchet. I believe if you don't have a tool truck ratchet, this is a great way to save some money. There's a lot of great features that are highly competitive with some of the tool truck ratchets and we'll kind of cover some of those. Um, if you're looking for a backup ratchet or a second ratchet or a third ratchet or fourth ratchet in my case, the gear wrench is a very good choice. I do believe this locking mechanism is by far the best locking mechanism on the market today. One of the things I did notice on this ratchet is when it's in the unlock position versus the tool truck ratchets, it is backwards. Like this would be in a unlock position on a Matco ratchet where this is in the unlock position on the gear wrench. If you can hear, the gear wrench has a little clicky sound and that comes from the spring load in the lock um, pushing up against these grooves that's in the bottom of the ratchets. You can alleviate that by pulling back on it and it flexes freely. But that's one of the things that I did notice right off the bat with this ratchet versus a tool truck ratchet. I like the way that they have it marked on and off on the back of the ratchet because 
it just makes it easier knowing which position it's in without having to turn it. It's not a necessity, but it is a nice feature. I do like the grips on this ratchet. I was a little bit concerned when I first seen them, especially with the half inch. This is the same grip that they used on the 90 tooth non flex or non locking flex heads. And I was a little concerned about the width of the grip. I actually like that. It's got an, an indention here that allows your fingers to go under it. It's actually a very comfortable handle that they used on this ratchet. As you see, it does have a little staining from the use that I have put through, put it through this week. But for the most part, it is very easy to keep clean. Um, you wipe it down with a tub of towels and it pretty much all comes off. It is chemical and stain resistant. This one actually had brake cleaner that got on it and it didn't hurt it. So I would give that a win-win for Gear Wrench and their grips. I personally have used the comfort grip way more than I have the non-comfort grip just because I'm a comfort grip fan. I do like the feel of the ratchets. The chrome plating is pretty nice on these ratchets. They did a good job on them. There's a few places maybe that they missed during the buffing process that could have been a little better, but at the end of the day, it is ratchets, it's not jewelry. The quarter inch ratchet is actually the tightest of all the flex heads out of the entire collection of ratchets that I received. The joint seems to be tighter. That may be a quality control issue or it could be just the fact of this one is a little bit tighter. But the joint in this one is way tighter than any of the other ratchets that don't have as much wobble in it. I can say that they fit the sockets extremely well and the ball detent that's on the end actually holds the sockets on very well. As you can hear, it's a very fine tooth ratchet. I've been extremely pleased with the fit and the function of this ratchet. It has not slipped, the locking mechanism has not let go, and I've actually put some pretty good torque on the 3H ratchet since I've had it using it this week. The half inch ratchet I have used a pretty good bit. I actually removed some shock bolts, and if you guys have ever worked on a big truck, you understand the shock bolts are usually pretty tight and it's always rusty, grimy, and cruddy. This ratchet took it, it did not slip at all. No gears at all had any movement in it when I was moving on the ratchet, and I actually put a pretty good bit of force on it. The teeth held up extremely well, and I feel like this ratchet will be a run for the money with some of the tool truck ratchets. I really took the torque that I was applying on it. I was extremely impressed with this ratchet, I feel like Gear Wrench done their homework when they come out with that. I do wish they could take some of the slop out of the head of these when they're in the lock position because a lot of guys are not going to like that. For me personally, I'm kind of used to it with some locking flex heads since I do have some that's had some extreme wear on them and they also have a good bit of flex in them. I do worry about how that's going to, to pan out over time. Is it going to get worse or is it pretty much going to be staying the same? Also, another concern that I have with this ratchet is with the spring-loaded mechanism, is it going to stay tight as far as the locking mechanism goes, or will that diminish over time? That will only be um, a question I can answer after further use. But I will say this, I did use these exclusively for an entire week. I did not use any other brand of ratchets in the shop, and I feel comfortable that if you're a professional mechanic, these gear wrench ratchets will do the job for you. Uh, definitely think for the price, your money ahead to go this route if you do not have a tool truck dealer that comes by your shop on a regular basis. I feel like the locking mechanism is a better design on this than a snap-on or a Mac or any of the other if you prefer a ratchet that will be in the locked or unlocked position. As you guys know, Mac ratchets, they're either locked or they're locked. There's no flex position in the locking flex head. So that's a win-win for gear wrench with this one. I do know if you're a comfort grip fan or a non-comfort grip fan, I think you'll find extreme value in these gear wrench locking flex head 90 tooth ratchets. I do feel like that you will be able to use these in the shop daily without any issues. These are available on Amazon. These are not to my knowledge right now. I think they're going to be around mid-July before they start shipping them. 
but either way, definitely take a look at these ratchets. One of the features I'd like to point out is the, the head design that they've used on these ratchets. They're extremely thin and they're narrow. Um, you can really get into some places with that. I don't think that you know the head thickness this way is going to make that much difference, but it really does. Once you put a socket on there, it kind of amplifies the problem at hand. And Gear Wrench has done a great job in keeping this head design thin, and that's one of the things that we've always had problems with with non-tool truck brand ratchets in the past. A lot of your less expensive ratchets will be big, thick, and bulky. They have a wide head on them that's really thick, and Gear Wrench has fixed that with the 90 tooth design. It's even thinner than the 120, and they did a good job designing the grip. Um, I feel like this is a grip that pretty much anybody will like, whether you're a Mac fan, a Matco fan, or a Snap-on fan. This kind of sits right in the middle between all three tool truck brand handles. They did a great job on it. They did a really nice job when they designed the button that's on here that selects on and off. It's pretty flat to the ratchet. You're not gonna hit that when you're in there working on something. They did a good job and it's easy to get to with your thumb. They've kind of dished out the head of the ratchet to allow for it to still have kind of a hump on the switch. And that's a win-win in my book. I like the on and off selector switch. Well, hopefully this video shed a little bit of light on these new 90 tooth locking flex heads for you. In my personal opinion, I believe they are an excellent value for the money. So you guys check them out, get with your gear wrench dealer or look them up online. Um, I don't think you're going to go wrong with them and I believe it'll pretty much satisfy anybody that's especially on a budget looking for a quality ratchet. But anyway guys, that's my video this week. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check the merchandise over here, cool tools discounts down in the description and click that subscribe button. It's totally free, never cost you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time.